this video is uh, first in a series which will discuss uh, the leg. Now, the leg is uh, the anatomical region between the uh, knee joint, which is right here, and the ankle joint. So for this video, uh, most of the structures that we're going to identify uh, they belong to uh, the posterior compartment of the leg you know, with a little uh, structures that uh, are found or which belong to the anterior compartment. But we, before we actually uh, identify and discuss uh, the uh, leg structures, let us review some of uh, the structures here that are found uh, proximal to the knee joint. Now we have the... Uh, Sartorius right there, this uh, very long uh, vein, this would be uh, the great saphenous uh, vein. Then we have the uh, gracilis muscle right here, semitendinosus and uh, semimembranosus uh, muscle. And then uh, we can see right here the uh, tibial nerve one of uh, the terminal branches of the uh, sciatic nerve and going uh, lateral right there that's the uh, common uh, fibular or common peroneal nerve uh, this large uh, muscle mass right here no? muscle of uh, the calf that is uh, the gastrocnemius muscle no? and uh, the medial head uh, this bony prominence is uh, the medial uh, malleolus of uh, the tibia. Uh, let's uh, move down. Uh, this uh, vein, no? that's uh, the lesser or the small saphenous uh, vein. Uh, its origin will be... Uh, the, the veins of uh, the foot uh, it will usually course uh, it usually courses uh, laterally and then posteriorly in uh, the leg so the calf muscle is not uh, solely made up of uh, the gastrocnemius muscle below that is uh, another uh, large muscle and it is actually wider no? than the gastrocnemius that is uh, the soleus muscle gastrocnemius and soleus they form uh, this large uh, tendon right here at the heel this is uh, the tendocalcaneus no? because uh, it's attached to uh, the calcaneus uh, the largest bone of uh, the ankle uh, we can also call uh, the tendocalcaneus as uh, the tendon of Achilles or Achilles tendon. No? Achilles is a uh, character from uh, Greek mythology and I'm sure you're familiar of uh, his uh, story. So let's uh, now uh, try to identify no? the structures uh, in this area which are, uh, again, they are part of uh, the posterior compartment of uh, the leg. Uh, this uh, muscle right here, it's actually made up of two muscles. We can partly see the uh, belly of uh, tibialis posterior and the other muscle right there, that's uh, the uh, flexor uh, digitorum longus muscle. So let's trace uh, where their uh, tendons actually uh, go and uh, attach. So for uh, the tibialis posterior, you can see its uh, tendon right there, attached to uh, the bones of the ankle. And then uh, flexor digitorum longus. So expect the uh, tendon to uh, go and uh, attach no? or reach the uh, 
second up to the fifth digits no, of uh, the foot. No? So, tendon right there. No? The uh, distal uh, continuation is actually uh, this uh, bundle no, of tendon which will uh, split no? and uh, become uh, the tendons, no? flexor tendons for uh, the second up to the fifth uh, digit. So this uh, muscle right here, no, it's quite large. That is uh, the uh, belly for the uh, flexor hallucis uh, longus tendon. No? So the uh, muscle or muscle, no? flexor hallucis.